What's up guys? So today I was running home from school and I saw something pretty cool. Just super, super flat water, awesome, great conditions, a little bit of fog. And I knew I had to go right back home and grab my rod and get out there. So I decided to just run down what I would bring on like a quick little light tackle sort of fishing trip like I'm about to do. This is a 3000 size Daiwa Repros with like 20 pound braid on it. It's like an eight foot six medium rod. And then I just have, you know, a little swim bait on there. I'm targeting halibut, a lot of halibut lately. And this is like the best day I've seen conditions wise. So I think it's a pretty good shot of halibut. And then I just usually have a little box with, you know, plastics and jigs and then some SP minnows, cast master, poppers in case there's any striper. And I like to have a little backpack with me just because I don't want to be carrying a bunch of stuff. This is sort of my light, you know, mobile setup here so I can just, you know, walk out there and cover a lot of distance and I don't have to worry about it. So yeah, a little backpack, light rod. We're going to get out there and see what we can get. Alright, so we made it out. We're out at the beach. And the fog kind of died off a little bit. Burnt out, but still some of the best conditions I've seen all month for halibut. And we've been getting them the past couple days and it hasn't even been good weather, so I think we'll run into something. Saw some birds diving earlier. So there's some bait around and I know for a fact there's some fish. So we'll see what we can do. I'm just gonna work the swim bait for now. I might switch to a drop shot or something later. But we're just trying to keep it close to the bottom and get some get some keeper halibut. Ooh, that was a really good hit. You see that? I'm gonna throw it back out. That might have been a halibut. Right there. Don't know what that was. We'll see if we can get that, that fish to come back and hit it again. I've noticed a lot of halibut will just kind of sit in one spot. You can often get them to come by the lure again if you put it right back out in front of them. I think I'm gonna switch it up to a uh, drop shot. The seaweed's in, but it's all real tight to the beach. So I think with a drop shot, I can get a little bit farther and keep my bait in the uh, area where the halibut are a little bit better. So we're gonna try that out. Alright, so I'm going to use some of these hooks. 
3.0 owner straight worm hooks and um, I just thread it on you know get a lot of um, sort of extra line to use for your weight and then make a little loop just like that a little loop right for the hook and then twist that hook through the loop like four times almost like a double dropper dropper loop style and then I hold the shank of the hook and pull both ends of the line and you um, have to pull it down like that and tighten it up and um, you have to adjust a little bit but you're basically going to get your hook straight on the line like that so we have the hook there and then since I'm on the beach and I'm at a lower angle I'm going to use a longer leader to my weight probably 16 18 inch leader one ounce on the bottom it's a little one ounce weight you don't want to use a pyramid weight or a coin weight really you kind of want to use a either a ball weight or torpedo weight something that slides through the sand in a straight line doesn't tumble or get caught at all because you're going to be dragging this thing a lot so we have our weight 16 18 inches or hook and then i'm just going to tie that onto my swivel and put my lure on and then for a lure i'm going to go with one of these zoom flukes i got two colors in here i don't know if i'm going to go with a straight white or a oh i see fish jumping what the hell is that thing I just saw a fish jump out of the water like three times. It was weird. Okay. I'm going to try out this straight white for now. But that's the rig. Let's see what we can get on it. Okay. Got my fluke drop shot rig. Let's see if this can get the fish. Ooh, there's a bike. Ready? Got one. Got one. We're on. First cast. There's a halibut. Literally first cast. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is a really good one. It's just dumping my line. This is a really good halibut. Come on. We gotta get this thing in. First cast. Oh yeah, it's a halibut. It's a good one too. It's a good one. I'm gonna keep it down. It's coming in. Do not wanna lose this fish. There we go, there it is. It's a big halibut. There we go. That is a nice halibut right there. That's gotta be 24 inches. We're gonna measure it right now, but that is a nice one. First cast with the drop shot. Wow. Let's get it over there and measure it. Here's our tape. It's for sure a keeper. No doubt about it, but let's see if we got zero. 
measure it from the end of the tail right there zero inches sorry that's centimeters zero right there all the way over here it's about 22 and a half 23 inches a little bit smaller than i thought but um super thick this is just a fat one i think that's one of the best things is when you set your mind to getting a certain fish and um you go out and you make it happen first cast two with a drop shot so i think i'm gonna stick with that for the rest of the day let's uh knock them out and uh bleed them first blood baby keep her hell of it Awesome, awesome right there. Super awesome fish. Did you just catch it? Huh? Did you catch it from the shore? Yeah. Wow. Say a uh, halibut. Whoa, awesome. Look, see this? Oh yeah, look at those eyes <laughs> on top. On one side. And then the other side's white. Another way? White side and a brown uh -huh, side. Uh -huh. Super weird. Whoa. What did you use for a bait? It's a uh, it's a lure. The lure on it's called a fluke. Uh huh. They're like little white plastic. You bounce it on the bottom. Oh, so you just cast it out and it. bounce it and reel it in. It. Cast it again. And just oh. keep doing that. You gotta be patient. Yeah. <laughs> that paid off. Yep. Nice. Thank you. Now I gotta try and fit this fish in my tiny backpack. One downside is bringing a small backpack. You know where to put your fish. Okay. I'm gonna try and do this. Put it in this bag so it doesn't smell gross. The majority of it fits in the bag. There you go. <laughs> That's how you know you're a fisherman right there. You got big ass tail sticking out of your backpack. Making my way back right now. See my buddy out here. We'll see what he's got. Getting any? I just got here. You already got one? Yeah. Yeah, down at that little uh, same spot, spot little yeah. hole. I was gonna walk down there, I just said. I put on the uh, drop shot in like first cast. How big is it? Dude, it's like 23. Okay. Super fat though, it's like super wide that way. I'm surprised you can fit in that backpack. I know. <laughs> no, I just shoved it in there. It's super short and like wide. I don't know, it's a weird looking fish. But yeah, I worked all the way down that way, nothing, all the way this way, and just, I got a hit and then that fish and that. In between those houses, yeah, I'm moving back. All right, I think I'm done. Came back to this spot, tried it again. No more fish, got a couple bites, but. I think I need to go home and, uh, you know, fillet it up. Maybe we'll do a catch and cook. So, let's head out. All right. Here's the halibut we got earlier. And we're going to fillet it up so we can eat. This is a nice one. It's really thick. It's got a lot of meat on it, so... I'm gonna show you how I fillet it. I might do it in two different styles, but we're gonna see here. So I start right above this big bone they have that comes in the head. So there's this bone right here. You can't cut through that, but you start right underneath, come down, and then follow this lateral line. You can't really see it on this side, but you can feel it. There's a line that goes all the way down. So you meet that line, 
You just pull it all the way down the fish. Just like that. And then once you've done that, you can kind of get your finger in there and start to spread two pieces apart. So I like to get the knife, put it at an angle, and just slide it along those rib bones or spine and just slide the knife. And keep it pressed and have this knife at an angle. So you're pushing it down and you're keeping that knife bent so it's flush with the bones and it's just cutting all the meat right off. So I do that along the whole length of the fish. And then there's sort of this ribbity meat up at the top. And I don't know, some people like it, but once I get to there, I can just kind of stop, cut through all of the skin. See, these are the ribbons right there. Cut through all of this and um, separate that main piece. And you're left with a really nice chunk of halibut. Okay, we're going to cook our halibut now. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Fun little recipe, there's one piece. There's the other, we're just gonna do two for now. I'm gonna show you a good little recipe you can do with the halibut. Super easy and tastes really good. It's a little bit different too, it's not like the normal, you know, typical recipe you'd see. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. First thing you're gonna do, pretty basic, is just put salt and pepper on both sides. Some pepper there. And do that to both sides. We'll flip these sides over. Do this side. I left a little bit of skin on that side on accident. But you'll have to work out. I'll just peel it off after I cook it. So salt and pepper on both sides. And then we're going to fry the halibut up. And I'll show you what to do after that. Okay. Now that we salt and pepper our halibut. Turn on the stove, about medium, medium high maybe. And uh, we're gonna put you know, a nice big griddle on there. You don't want to cook your halibut too high because it overcooks very easily. So you wanna take it nice and slow. And uh, for this recipe, we're gonna kind of give it this nice golden crust on it. We're gonna put a little bit of um, a little bit of olive oil on this pan here. Take a paper towel. This is while the pan's still cold. The pan hasn't really heated up yet. So we're going to kind of just evenly spread that olive oil. We don't want big areas with a lot of olive oil. Just because if we do that, we're going to get, you know, really strong flavor. We're not really going for olive flavor here. We're just trying to um, use it to cook the halibut. So we're gonna do that, and I'm actually gonna cut the halibut into two pieces. We're gonna cut the halibut. We'll just do two even pieces from each fillet. So two there, and we'll do two right there. I'll give this little piece to the dog here. So. Four pieces, it's about, you know, four servings. That one's kind of small, but we're gonna throw those on the pan once they heat up. Right there. And make sure you put it skin side up. Because for whatever reason, that side that has the skin sticks a lot more than um, the side that you remove the skin from. Or the side on the inside that doesn't have any skin. So we're gonna put that there. And I like to kind of move them around at first. Just so they don't stick. Okay. So we're going to cook on this side until you can see the white cooked part come about two-thirds of the way through the meat. So these two are gonna have to go on a little longer. These two are thinner pieces. 
So once you see the white come through about two thirds of the way, then we're gonna flip it and cook it on that side. I'm actually gonna do the sauce after I cook it because the sauce is pretty quick. So we'll let these cook through and then I'll show you how to do that. Nice golden piece of fish there. What we like. So these pieces are looking done. For some reason the halibut always seems to split in the middle when you cook it. So I kind of use that to my advantage to check. And this piece looks good. I'm gonna put it on the cutting board. And this one looks good as well, so there we go. Four super good looking golden pieces of halibut. I'll show you how to make the sauce right now while that's cooling down. Okay, sauce is super easy. Take a pan or a pot and put it on like a simmer, almost as low as you can go. Take some butter, throw that in there, add some capers, some tomato paste, and a little bit of lemon juice, and dill, and we're good to go. Once you add all the ingredients, sort of whip it up in there, let that butter melt, and um, you get this super good, really rich sauce that you can pour on your halibut. It's got the acidity from the lemons and the tomato, with that rich butter, little capers and dill in there to give you some flavor. But it's just super good. And it's kind of unique. I've never seen anyone else do this. But yeah, give it a try and you won't be disappointed. All right, so you take your piece of halibut there and you just pour that dill sauce right on top and just cover that halibut in that sauce. There it is. There's our uh, meal there. We're gonna take a bite. Halibut's just falling apart. Cooked perfectly, super flaky. Didn't dry it out. We'll take some halibut, see what we think. I mean, it's perfect. I mean, what else could you ask for? Perfectly cooked. That butter sauce on there is just super good, salty, delicious. Try it out. You're not going to be disappointed. <laughs> Thanks for watching.